Alrighty, what is up? Uh, let me turn my amp on here. A while ago, I did an acoustic tutorial video of how to play Wake Up by Three Days Grace. It's a pretty fun song to play. I love playing it. Uh, so I figured I'd do an electric version, which sounds a lot more like it, which is... They actually do that part acoustically, um, but in case you haven't realized, it's kind of hard to switch from acoustic to electric in one song. So uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this on the electric guitar, and the rest of the song besides that little picking part sounds a lot better. Okay, so first of all, your guitar is in drop D tuning. Which is e, or, which is your E A D G B E tuning, except you take this string and you drop it down a full step to D. I believe it is. I'm not much on music, but that sounds about right. I drop it a full step on my tuner. Or another way you can do this is you can play this D string, or you're going the low E and play the D string, and you can play them together, and you can hear it as you tune it down and tune it up. They start to come more. As soon as they start to sound the same, well, then you got it. So the first part sounds like. And what you do is you're going to bar across the second fret. And you're going to put your ring finger right here on the D string on the fourth fret. So you play. You play uh, D A D. D A D A D A. Okay, so it's D A D A. So go down to that string where your finger's on the fourth fret, and then pick the one that's right on top of it. Then you're gonna play that right there, which is you're just gonna put your pinky on the fifth fret, and then play it on four again right there. So. Then you're gonna play that A string, and then the uh, D string right here. take that bar off right there. You'll take the bar off but leave your finger on the fourth fret on the D string right there. Yeah. So you're going to take that off and play the D and A open. You're going to play D open, A open, D on five with your pinky, then D open. Or maybe it sounds better, whichever way you think. You can play, you can play four, then five, then open. That works too. Which is, I think, maybe what I do. I don't know. I don't have tabs. I figured this all out. Okay. So you got that little riff down. Go to five. And put your ring finger on seven. Bar cross five. Ring finger on seven D. So you, you go down to the D string again. Then you pick the one above it. Then you're gonna play five hammer on seven on the D string. string again. You play the D string again. Then you're going to take that bar off. Yeah. Then you're going to take that bar off, like I said. Go down to leave that finger on 7D. You're going to play 7D. 5D, 4D, and that's the whole intro riff, so slowly it sounds like this. Let me see if I can get my hands out a little bit closer. Now 
at speed, it sounds like. Sorry, I messed up on that one part. Okay, now you play that twice in the song, or you play it a few times. You're going to have to listen to the song to figure out how many times you play it. But you play it a few times, then you go into the pre-chorus, then the chorus. Then you'll go back to that again, but then you won't play it the rest of the song. So I don't have a foot pedal or anything. i got to manually switch my amp to overdrive. Okay, now the rest of the song is pretty easy. The free chorus sounds like... Okay, and all that is is just bar cross nine. I'm all doing all down strums here. And you slide to uh, 11, then to 12, then to 14. And you're going to do that twice, I think. So it's... you the picking pattern because it's obviously all down strums but oh here with screensaver okay so after you play the 9 11 12 14 you're going to you're going to do this right here. what you're doing is you're playing that open once you're playing the alt just top three strings open then bar cross two So it's open, open two, it's open two, two, open two, maybe. And then you're just going to do that again. On, you're going to do that thing. On, you're going to do that on five the same way. Right there, right there. That's the. Uh, that's after they get foot twice, maybe. And that's pretty much all you need to know for the whole song, for the chorus, the uh, verse, and the pre-chorus. So, for those of you who don't know what I'm doing right there, when I'm doing the... I'm just resting all my fingers on the strings that mutes it. You probably know that, but in case there's somebody out there who doesn't know it. And then the uh, bridge part just does the whole. does that like four times in a row I think it's not a very hard song you guys should be able to get it if you want to play on electric I also have the acoustic version out there on my YouTube page and I uh, hope this is very helpful to you guys